if I think about different parts of my job, serving the organization, you know, doing research and teaching and supervision, I feel the one part that will make a lasting difference to this world in 20 to 30 years is probably the teaching component. If I have positively influenced a student's life or shaped a student's research career, hopefully in 20 years they would have done great things. People from industry, I, I feel, have a perspective on what employees are required to do or what skills and knowledge are valued in the workplace. And they come from a place of sometimes some more authenticity about connecting the workplace with education. Seeing someone from industry every day becomes much more valuable than maybe just participating in a career day or going to a seminar from a recruiter. A lot of the work that I do in a teaching sense is around work integrated learning and helping students transition from what they've learned academically and put that into practice in industry-linked projects and industry-based placements. And the thing that's really exciting for me at the moment is I've got an opportunity to create a brand new course at ANU that we're gonna run next year, which is game development. And I found coming in from industry, students are really excited to learn from me and that they really appreciate the knowledge and the skills that I bring um, from having worked in industry and not just in academia. We have like five puzzles there. You're gonna see that there is no link in between them. So let's talk in more play. <laughs> Let's go and enjoy it. Have fun. So we have the key of the escape room, okay? <laughs> You're gonna get one if you do escape. So we have five different games. Each of them addresses different topics taught in the course. So one is about software testing, another one is about design patterns, another one is about passes, another one is about UML. One of the main ideas of the escape room is to make them work as a team and then understand the importance of each of its members. They are participating actively in the course and putting into practice what they learn. We receive all the support to be as creative as we can and this is a result of this. So the college gave me the support to build these kind of activities and I think it's quite fun. I can just do whatever activity that could contribute to the student experience. Most academics don't have some natural teaching ability. It's something that they have to practice and develop and there's really great supports at ANU to be able to develop your own practice in terms of teaching. I've got students creating musical compositions, writing code to create music and developing ways that a group of people could perform together on their laptops. Students working on creating music and art with AI, doing generative AI. I explain it one way and students say, well, I don't understand, then we have to try again <laughs> in different ways. And this is not so different than what people need to do in industry where they need to sort of do something and then explain to stakeholders and clients five different ways. So there are lots of transferable skills here. ANU has a beautiful campus. The energy is really good as well. It seems like everybody here is working to change the world and then you feel this vibe and you want to do as well. It's such a delight to teach here. I love being in the bush capital and embedded in, in such a naturally beautiful campus. I love working on a university campus. Working on a university campus, you get to not just feel that you have your one office, your one team, but walk across campus and participate in different kinds of collaborations with different kinds of teams. It brings a great kind of energy to feel that you have the freedom to pursue a personal idea and implement that within education, implement it within research projects, or just building networks and, and seeing what comes of it later. Thank you.